In the name of kind Allah, greetings and respects for all my dear viewers on YouTube. Uh, the video I want to share with you right now is a very interesting and a spiritual game. It is a challenging game that the user make challenge and share their challenge and uh, someone else can find them and break the challenge. So the rule for this game is really simple and simple. There is uh, a circle and there is 60 seconds or one minute for the user is given. In total, the game, in total of the game, there is only one minute for the user to gain their score and record a challenge for himself. So the rule for playing this game is that when the user double click over this button, the user can earn five scores with a green background. And when the user click double over, click once over this circle, two things will change. The first is the background color that becomes red by clicking once. And the second thing that changes over this game is the size of this circle. It becomes a little smaller, a bit smaller. When the user click once over this button, the circle becomes smaller periodically. If the user click once over this button, and only can earn one score when the user click over this once. But if the user double click over this button, the user can earn five scores with a green background. And the size of the circle will not change. It, this circle will not decrease or increase this, this size. So it is your intelligence and it is your skill that you should save your record and earn more scores than the others that will share their scores over the videos. So for developing such a game in HTML and JavaScript, we must have some primary familiarity with HTML and JavaScript. So now you can see that I have uh, get only 64 scores playing this game when the game ends up over 60 seconds or one minute the final score will be displayed to do to the user as a challenge you also make this game or give the score or give the source code from the description of the video after playing you can share your score as a challenge to the viewers over this video and uh, the overall goal and objective for uh, practicing and making or playing this game is to learn javascript and web development especially it is important for every developer that the first time it is really important to learn JavaScript, HTML, and CSS as a medium level to become a, to become expert for learning the next steps of JavaScript. So be, be familiar with these JavaScript functions, algorithms, or other things that I'll, I'm going to use over this game. This can be a remarkable project, both interesting and learning, and really exciting. So let's start uh, creating and coding this project from the zero to making such a game for yourself. So for the first time, I don't want to create a folder on my desktop called game and the for the next, I don't want to open virtual studio code. I need only, I'm gonna create three files after opening my folder in virtual studio or VS code, or you may use your own IDs. So on my desktop, I select the game folder. Over this folder, I'm, great, I'm gonna create three files. Files for the first is gonna be home. .html. The second file for a style, style .css, and the last for my JavaScript index.js. So in my HTML file, I use the subvision, or you can use the same things that you can you are really relaxed with. For a first, open the HTML tag. Inside the HTML tag, open this in the title for your game. This is gonna be game, or click. This is our game name and the body tag for other course that I'm gonna write for this. I really uh, sure about this that every person or every new or every beginner of JavaScript uh, learning practicing this game will be too expert in JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. So for the first time, uh, I need to open the an H1 for this, and this H1 is gonna. Uh, handle the click me text on the background of my web page. The second thing I do want to create a div as a target. This div is going to be the target or the circle that you see on the game. The another thing is going to be score. You can, I for the first time I click this zero or I will change it for later. Uh, and so let's define IDs to access these elements in JavaScript and HTML. The first H1 is gonna be the caption of our game, and the second div is gonna be the uh, target or the circle. You, you name it as you all relax with. And the last thing is, is code. So this is our HTML code, and let's jump to the 
CSS to assign this. For first, I should add the CSS link on my HTML code. And the name was style CSS. So let's come here and write the other codes that are necessary. So for the first thing, I styled the background color of my body with a weight of 97 percentage with a height of 94 vh and let's add some borders 10 pixels solid uh, with white color so if you want to add some shadows for the body of your uh, page it's already simple let's use the box shadow 0 pixels from the left 0 pixels from the top distance 100 pixels for Mm, and let's add 30 pixels with a color of white or let's select solid color as a black let's open the file up so this the file i first create such a thing for my project and uh, i will add some more other css codes to design this app so this is the caption this is the score and this is the this is the school and this is the circle that is gonna uh, uh, circulate over my web page. And let's style coding this target for the circle it should be displayed as a circle on my web page. So open the target and write the codes for the first time. I avoid the user to select the text inside that. Let me disturb the user during the playing, playing of the game. And let's add some shadows for this with these properties. 0, 0, 20, 10%, 10 pixels for the blur in RGBA. This is the color. Uh, so both of these are gonna be zero. And I use RGBs only to add the transparency for the shadow. Do you find 20, 20? So the border for that thing, 10 pixels, or oh, let's use 5 pixels, so white, transaction, or I use transaction letter, with a width of 90 pixels, height of 90 pixels too, and font size 30 pixels, and the position should be absolute that I use, position should be of this also should be the zero one one percentage and the top also be only one percentage so let's one percentage uh, background color of background color of white for the circle border reduce of 50 percentage the rest should be completely uh, it looks like a circle the display of this should be flexed that the text inside this had um, centralized text this should be center align items the vertically which also it also should be at the center so the color for the text inside is gonna be teal for the first time and the margin also should be 10 pixels and let's see let's see what happened so I refresh the page. So let's see what is wrong with this. This target should be the uh, name. You can see that I have a mistake in my code. Target. So what is to do? You can refresh this up. So you can see that this is our circle right now. Let's see why the border reduce did not work. And uh, this is the border. And it's not the reduce. Border reduce. So. That's it. This is our circle that's gonna periodically circulate over my web page. And now let's work on the click me text that is on the background will show right in here. So in my CSS, that was caption. So the font size for that caption is gonna be 100 pixels. Or you can use your own size. So position also be absolute that I can change this position simply from the left it should have half of the page the space and from the top it has 40 percentage or let's change this to look like this uh, so left and type also let's add some width for this 
the width should be 200 pixels and uh, head for this uh, let's avoid adding a head and well, so the user select also should be none the user can should can select the text and the background color for this is also too important background color should be as every color you can use you can use white color uh, and you can also add some transparency for this it should be like this after saving you can see this is what we made this is the background color uh, you can use this not, uh, you can uh, you can avoid adding background color for this you change the background color to color and see what happened so this is right here you can change this the, the left space should not be like this the top should be like this the left should be like this let's see what happened it's good from the top it also have a distance like this not more so it's good and let's work on the score which is shown like in here it also should have a beautiful look for the user so on um, my uh, css code the name for that tag was score you can see this is the score uh, so open it up it's cool you, you already noticed that uh, manipulating the tags and the elements that are named uh, as id by using a hash before their names in the css pattern css so background color should be white text color should be teal width of 100 pixels head of 40 pixels and margin of 10 pixels border reduce 20 pixels uh, user should not be able to select select the land and text align should be at the center of that so let's see that's it you can avoid this also you can work more like this it looks beautiful than this mm. so in css let's work more should wait for that the width of 100 pixels now you can see that is great but as be behind the, this circle you can change the circle top from 1 to 20 to see what happens with this that is it it should have a little border reduce that of 20 pixels it will be looks greater than this border reduce of 20 pixels so that's it this is our score this is the circle and this is the caption displayed on the background of our web page so and it's the time right now to work on javascript codes for the first on your html add the javascript link a script uh, the name of the file should be written right here that was index.js and now jump to js file and work for i need to grab three elements that i had in html codes so the first was a target is equal to document by id and add the id the id for my target was this target you use the copy and paste to get the other elements too i need to get a score the name right here was score too this is called the document manipulation the grabbing the html elements editing thing, manipulating thing, and, and display the chains over your web page. Another thing for, um, I think it was the caption, or you can use the caption length, mm, caption. So right now, uh, I have a timer, the timer, this value is gonna be zero for the time. And let's add uh, the variable of t width, T width, width of the target is equal to 19 right now and the target hit also should be 90 right now you can change this so I need to add an interval that periodically change the left and the top properties of target this is the target and it has the properties of left and top these two elements and these two properties of the target element help me to change the position of the circle on my web page. 
So what I do first in the JavaScript, I use an interval. You know, interval is something that periodically changes the code written inside this. I change these properties of the target elements periodically, that the position of the circle also change periodically on our page. So let's change these properties uh, before using interval. It is really easy. Come here and type this. The, the target, that was this one, the target, the style of the target, and its top property should be equal to should be equal to something random. When I use random, I don't know what the value is gonna be. That is something randomly generated by your computer. So let's so save the top and hit list values that are generated from a random function. This is gonna be the top. I use the bulky math. This is the class inside this class. Uh, I have the function called random. It is used to generate random molecular values from the JavaScript. Uh, so the generated value is gonna be from 0 to 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.9, 0 0.8. And you use this uh, generated value that should be multiplied by the values you want. I don't wanna use a t percentage for this. The, and, and right now the generated values that are stored on the top using this function it's going to be from 1 to t. And when you use 19, the generated values that are going to store over this function, over this variable, is going to be from 1 to 90. You use and you write the maximum number that is going to be generated from the JavaScript using this class and functions. So I use et. And same as like this, you can copy and paste this value, uh, change the variable name that it should be the left of the as target math random function and it's everything like this so it should be 19 and now use that this assign these values on the target as a top the top is gonna be a top value this is the top and you you may you uh, should know this that the value was as a percentage so you can now uh, concatenate this with a percentage Symbol like this, and the same thing, a style dot list is going to be the list. This is a list, and that is, it has a value of generated by a random function. The same thing that should be concatenated, concatenated with a percentage symbol. And refresh this web page, you can see that by every refresh that I do, it changes its value. And why it goes for the first time right here? Because in CSS, I use this left and right. When I delete the map, you can now see that periodically it assigns itself a new and uh, left on top new value and new positions. So, and when I add this on the interval, now you can see that it automatically changed and it does not use any user interaction. I cut them out and add them to ascend uh, an interval. The time for changing this is gonna be. Uh, 1000 value writing here, it means one second. Because the, uh, the, the measurable point for this is millisecond. And when I use 200, 2000, it means two seconds. And paste the code that I previously copied it, copied from the game. So save this app, and now you can see that automatically the position of this circle changed by two seconds and or by 2000 milliseconds so let's see what is wrong with this so i should uh, add these new generated values there too and now you can see that periodically by 2000 milliseconds the location or the left right of properties of this target change so that's easy and now let's work on other things you can see that this uh, circle may goes out of the uh, the range. This is our range. We should avoid going this outside this range. Uh, we can add some points and some values to the top properties of this circle by default. So in the JavaScript, you can see that uh, the user can be uh, greater, uh, can be from 1 to 80 percentage. And I should avoid from the values that are gonna be from one, two, three, four, and five percentage. So now you add for four percentage, four right in here. Now if the function creates a, a random clean number by one, that number would be manipulated and will be added, uh, adding by four, that the total will be five. 
and this helped me that the circle will not overlay out the range. You can see that right now the circle will not go out of the range. This is the four, uh, four percentage that I find in here. And when you increase this up by 10 or by 20, the, the circle will not go out of the range anymore. Or you can avoid this app, or you can delete all of them to have a clear and understandable code. So if you want to accelerate the movement of the circle, just reduce this time by 1000 milliseconds, that equals to one second. You can see that every one second, the position of the circle will be changed periodically. So if you want to have an effect for this circle by changing its position, you can add transition and a style that CSS. That was the title, add a transition of 1.3, uh, the type of transition is going to be in and out. So now you can see the changing. So this was the target transition. So it should be a second. Now you can see that it has its own transition by changing its position. Uh, so now let's add the time that this inside this circle, here is the time that we only uh, give the user uh, one minute or 60 seconds. Let's work on the time. You can see you already have the time or element of the time that was inside the circle, the target that was the target. Uh, so the text of the target also should be changed. So let's add an interval for that too. Interval of, of only 100 seconds. And this is gonna be 130 seconds. 130 milliseconds and it should be 1000 seconds and 1300 seconds. So uh, the timer the timer should be degree, uh, incremented by one. Here we assign the variable of the timer and right now every one second the timer should be incremented by one. And the text of the timer should be displayed on the circle. The target, the inner HTML text is going to be equal to the timer. Now let's see that the time inside the circle is also changed radically like this. You can add phone size of greater that you uh, want on the circle on a target that looks a bit beautiful. So let's use that. Uh, style that was the target. So this should be the phone size. And now you can see that the phone size is a little a bit greater. The user can easily see and so this is all the CSS and the HTML codes and a bit JavaScript for changing the position of the circle. So that's that another thing that we need to add for this JavaScript is to track the clicking and double clicking of the user. When the user click once over this button, the value should be incremented by one. And when the user double click on this circle, the value over here will be decremented, incremented by five. And something else may be changed, the background color will be changed, the size of the circle will be changed when the user use one click on this uh, circle. So let's add an event, event listener for the target. When the user click on the target, add an event listener. What the event should be? The event should be click. So function, uh, what happens when the user click on the target? Just the score, inner HTML of this score should be incremented by one. Now you can see that when the user click once over this, the score will be incremented by one. So we did not put double clicks still, well, it's just a click. When the user do one click over this button, the score will be incremented only by one. So let's add another thing for this. You can see that we have the width and the height of variable right here. This is the height, weight, height and weight of the circle. And this is really the size of the circle. We previously used height of the target, height and weight of the circle in our CSS. Now I delete that and I use circle, made this and assign these values to the circle using JavaScript. So let's assign the height and weight of the target using JavaScript. The target should have a style with height. What is the height gonna be? The height gonna be the T height. And this value should be uh, concatenated with a peaks value. So, and let's add the weight for this button. Weight. And this variable also should be t weight. 
that's it and assign over the px now i refresh this app you can see the size of this circle is added by javascript not in css now i use the click or click uh, event or other uh, event you may use that when the user click on a button once what happens to it is gonna be increment decremented and the t hit also have a decrement so when the user click once once uh, the user will earn one score and the size of the circle will be incremented by one so if you copy this app and paste it twice now two pixels may be uh, will be redacted from the circle wall size save this app and refresh this page so you see when i use one click the size of the circle is going to be changed so let's assign the size also right here copy and paste this up at the end of this uh, we do this because we need to apply the new height and weight scores on the uh, target save this up you can see when i click once one pixel will be redacted from the size of the circle and when i click more it becomes smaller as soon as so this is the disadvantage of one click that you avoid uh, clicking once over this you encourage the user that use double clicks to earn more scores and avoid uh, being becoming this to be smaller you can see that in every click that i do on this circle the size of this will be reduced so another thing that is going to be changed is the background color the background color should be red you i should have the body right in here but i do not have the body right now let's add the uh, id for the body and grab it in javascript var body is equal to document get element by id get element by id and that's by so let's change the color for this when the user click once what happens the body style background color should be equal to red so when the user click once uh, one score will be added to the user so the background did not change let's see what is wrong with this so we body get element mm, this is completely true we should save this file also now you can see when you click once uh, the user will see a background color of red so this was all the codes that we need to add over the body the one click event and now let's work on double click event the same thing we copy the code for the single click and change it to dbl click when the user double click on this target on the sun on that circle so the user should uh, have the five score it is also easy that you change that the user value should be incremented by three or bar five so we only have three of this because the double click is when the user uh, will over from one click and it jumps double click two schools will be getting right here and three four three schools will be end right here that it becomes four uh, totally uh, so let's become paste it again so now the total school that the user will earn is five uh, that is great and what happens with the size of the weight nothing happened in, uh, instead of being incremented it should be decremented and instead of decremented it should be incremented now the size of the circle will be earned so indeed nothing will happen with the size of the circle because when the user double click the one click reduce the size of the circle and when the user goes double click the size will be increased by once and the size will be as the same as it was before so what next happens so we should use dbl click save this up and when the user use one click this is the changes one score red background and a reduction of the size when you double click a green background the user can earn more scores and the size of the circle also did not change so let's go ahead and work on the final project and the final decision so what happens when the user already ends the game uh, and i mean when the user uh, goes to the end of the game or when the time's over what happens we should handle this for the first we must have uh, uh, a click on the last time when the user achieves a rise to the 16 seconds of the game 
uh, everything should be height and only the total score of the user will be displayed to the screen. So let's work on, now you can see that this value is gonna be over from a six, a 60 or one minute. Let's avoid and handle this also. On the timer right here, we will work other things too. So what happens when the value of the timer become uh, equal to 60? So it is easy. If the value of the timer becomes equal to 60, what happens? Uh, so I need to hide everything. For this thing, use the target style and its display should be equal to none. Now the target will be hide. Hiding. So next what happened, the score which is displayed on the top of the, the, the screen and also should be, dis the display should be none. Uh, so now you can see when the user is going to reach to the 60 seconds. So you can see when the user achieves to the 60 seconds, the target and timer completely hide. So now we need to add the score of the user on this uh, caption text button. For doing this, that's already something easy the caption the inner html of the caption we already have the caption right in here uh, the is equal to the score score dot inner html so this is the thing the, the user achieves playing during the gameplay uh, and let's add some other things a score before this we need to add some text to the user that the user know what is in here to the displayed right here uh, we need to add your score or simply score uh, and it is already done so the things that happen after this the caption text also should be changed to inner html uh, not the inner html the style and the color should be white uh, so what happens after this uh, let's change the body style background color of the body should be background color also should be simple teal teal color so that's it and let's add a retry button for the user uh, so before that let's see what happens after this i uh, set the timer to go more uh, than so i uh, increment and i uh, make the time to go faster and faster and only 100 milliseconds refresh this up so you can see the time is going too hard i achieved this score and when it achieves to 16 this is what we have designed our score is 14. so i change it to 100 let's add a button of retry right in here when the user achieves the end of the game a button will be displayed to the user and that's that's already simple too uh, at the end of this, we need to add a button with the text of retry and also with an ID of retry. So let's design the retry button. Uh, grab this. The name for that was uh, retry. So the position should be absolute. The top distance top is available for you when you use the position of absolute uh, 50% and the left is gonna be 40% uh, wait for this button should be 200 pixels and hit for this 100 pixels I avoid having the border should be none there shouldn't be any border phone size of 50 pixels background color of white and the border reduce of 20 pixels the border reduce border reduce so 20 pixels and uh, color of the text written inside this button should be util and what is remained it's had a transition for this button to 0 0.3 seconds is in and out and the disp 
and uh, let's add a virtual uh, hover. When the user hover over this button, what happens? Just the the color, the background color of white will be changed. So come in here and let use this. So for having this functionality for your IDE to change the color and having the transparency values, you can use the extension of color picker. That's it, that I installed in my extensions. So let's save this and see what happens. So this is the button you can see. And let's see why the phone size is not working. Phone size. Uh, and refresh this, you can see this is the button I designed. Let's make this click me to go a little top. Uh, that was the caption from the top. It should be 25 pixels and it should be 33 percentage. Now you can see that it's also already. And now I uh, add the function for this button. What happens for this? I uh, using the location. So let's add a script for this button. On click. When you click on this, on click, this on click, what happens? It should ref refresh the page, location.reload. This is a function of JavaScript that uh, only reload the project. You can see when you click on this, the reload button. So, but this button should be hide for that time. Right now, the display of this button should be none. Now you can see I did not see any button inside my project. So. When this appears, when this appears, so when the user achieves to this, here was, so let's grab the button too, var the retry button is equal to document dot get element by id. Uh, so that was retry. And I add the retry, retry style dot display should be inline. So now you can see that it's not in here. And I reduce the size of this too. So you can see that when the user timer reaches to one minute or 16 seconds, you can see this appears and the score also appears. So when you want to adjust this good, add more distance from the left of the score. And here is the score, left of the score, here is left. So that was a caption, the left was not adjusted. So it should be to be five. Now save this up. You can see when the user achieves to the let's keep work on this game. My score is 50. So if you want to have more clicking, you can add this. You can see that I have only achieved the one year scores. So make this game to work to two normal. For doing this, you have the timer of one, and the position of the the circle will change. That is this timer. When you reduce it, the position will be changed soon as possible. So you can see if you change it to half second or 5 milli 100 milliseconds, you can see that the position changing is in increased. So now this is the challenge that the user should have the ability to get more score. That is not possible, only use uh, 900, 900, 900 milliseconds for the speed of this game. Now you can see when the user is able to get the double click, facility so they earn more schools and as of circle will be increased by once you can see but when the user click once over this button you can see that the background color chain the score will not be good for the user and the size of the circle will be increased too i really enjoy playing this game please play this game download the source code practice it yourself uh, so to run javascript to make new uh, challenges of playing this game they call the game name is click me so when the user when you what the uppermost score is uh, that you are able to get from this and earn from this game and please submit and write share your challenges in the descriptions of this video so thank you for watching practice with your own javascript is really interesting things